What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. So Noah has been doing bus update for quite a while. Adam has been doing bus update for quite a while and they're not the only ones. I would like to do something like that, but the problem is I don't own a bus. One bus thing that I can update you on is my collection. And I'm thinking about doing this on a monthly basis. Let me know if y'all are interested. Showing you all the different pieces that I have added to my collection within the previous month. I get a lot of comments wanting to see more model stuff and more collection stuff in general. So I figured this might be a good way to show that off because I do get a lot of memorabilia that I just don't show off on video because I don't think that it would be a interesting video or it would only be like a, a very short video. So I figure if I show off uh, everything that I get within a month, that might be something a little more interesting. So anyways, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you everything that I got within the month of July, 2022. And if y'all like this idea, if you think that this would be something you'd be interested in watching, let me know in the comments below and this might just become a regular thing. Anyways, I got a bunch of stuff in July, so let me get to showing you. So the first thing to show off is this Crown Super Coach model. And I picked this up because I had never seen this particular variant before. This is a fairly common school bus model. There's usually a stop sign back here and it's painted all yellow, but I had never seen this uh, yellow, red, and white version of it. So it's a little scratched. It's, you know, it's all right. I picked this up for a couple bucks at a flea market. A couple interesting things about the bus. Uh, instead of the stop sign, you can see that there is a toolbox back there and it, that the place where the stop sign would go is completely covered up uh, by some plastic. You can also see that it says Maltabus on the side and Valeta, Elvis on the front, and pay as you enter on the side, as well as emergency exit on the back right there. So because this is a variant of a model that I have, and one that I didn't know that there were variants of, that's why I picked this up. I'm really happy with it, and I'm curious if there are other variants out there. So the next thing that I picked up is this Bluebird number no. 1 model. Uh, again, this was fairly cheap. I picked this up at an antique mall. Unfortunately, it's a tiny bit damaged. You can see right there that the sticker on the front is kind of peeling off. It's missing a headlight, and then this axle right here uh, falls off. Like, let's see if we can get it to fall off. It's not a big deal, but uh, I can just put it back in place and I can fix that by putting a little bit of glue in there. Um, but I already have one of these. The other one is boxed, which is why I picked this one up because I don't have a second one. This is a super cool model just because it is, you know, Bluebird number one and it I think it's got a cool history. Otherwise, nothing too special about it. I'm glad that I picked this one up and yeah. So I picked this one up at a Goodwill. This is an all wooden school bus. I had never seen this particular one before. Again, fairly cheap, which is why I picked it up. You can see right here, there's a driver's seat uh, two passenger seats and then a little wheel that turns and then there's also two doors I'm surprised that they did not put a stop sign on this, but honestly, that's not the end of the world It's not a super big deal to me. So this will just go on display on uh, Top of a shelf somewhere probably so the next one is this <laughs> it is uh, old and heavy and apparently fairly expensive. I picked this up for 20 bucks at an antique mall. I found some on eBay in yellow and other colors going upwards of 200 bucks. So I'm glad that I picked this up because apparently these are worth a little bit of money. This is made out of cast iron. So like I said, it's fairly heavy. There is a little driver in there. Otherwise it's empty at the bottom and you can kind of rotate the guy around. I believe the listings said that this was a 1930s or 40s thing. Uh, I don't remember, but there are other colors that go for a little bit more. There's a red one, a green one. I think I saw a blue one somewhere. But again, I just thought that this was super cool whenever I found it. I hadn't really seen anything like this before. 
So I just decided, you know what, I'll pick it up. I can uh, put it somewhere on display and um, yeah, now I have it. The next one is this Buddy L School Bus. This was a gift from my uncle who had been collecting a bunch of random school buses. Um, and you'll see some of the other ones that he gave me here in a little bit. This particular one is interesting because it does say Solano County Office of Education and number 54. And I assume, obviously I don't know for sure, that this was maybe in like a transportation director's office for Solano County. That is a neighboring county um, in the Bay Area. So I thought that was cool just for that reason. Uh, I have a handful of these, but always good to have another one. So here are a couple more of the buses that my uncle was gracious enough to pick up for me. These little Matchbox Wayne Internationals have always been one of my favorite in this scale. And this particular one is important because this is the 100th uh, 164th scale school bus that I have. So yeah, here is yet another little Matchbox. This is a double decker bus. So I don't think I actually had this one. So that's cool. Yet again, another Matchbox Double Decker bus. This is the second one of these that I have. This one is in much better condition than the original one that I have though. Although there is a couple scratches, but that's okay. Next up we have the red graphics Hot Wheels bus. Nothing too interesting about that, but yeah. So this is a Lesney branded bus. I believe that was like Matchbox for Europe. So, yeah. And then this is a Leyland Royal Tiger Coach. That would be the bus model. Very 50s-ish. I love the styling on there. Uh, this back here almost looks like, a, like an older 50s Chevy. I think this is super cool. Uh, even though it's not a school bus, I love the styling on this. Here's another cool one. This is a Matchbox Scenic Cruiser. I love Santa Cruisers. You can also see that this is Greyhound branded. Um, so this is a super cool model. Yeah, this is actually in really good condition. Here are a couple carted buses that my uncle was nice enough to get me. Uh, I don't believe that I have any carted of these. I could be wrong, uh, but this one is in really good condition. Uh, probably the best condition if I do have one of these carted. Uh, so yeah, there's also one of these models that is carded. So again, really good condition. Here's one of these gray Hot Wheels from the 90s. Again, really good condition. And last but not least, yet again, another one of these uh, Hot Wheels. Tiny, tiny bit of damage down there. Not too bad overall though. Uh, and otherwise, again, great condition. So here's two that I picked up at Walmart. I had not seen this particular uh, color variant before. I had seen uh, some of the other ones, but not this blue one, and I really like uh, the blue variant of this. I think this is the sharpest one that they've done. Here's yet another set of duplicates that I bought. I got these at Target. I'm sure you've seen them before. I just didn't have them in this packaging, and I don't believe that I had a school bus version of this, so I figured I might as well pick it up. Uh, this one was yet again given to me by my uncle. And this is yet another cast iron bus. This was sitting right next to the other one that I showed off. As you can see, this is a lot smaller than the other one. And I have a rule with collecting that is try not to break up a collection. So I saw this sitting right next to it. Uh, it was cheap enough for me to buy both of them, so I bought it and have both of them now. The next thing I got was at the flea market I mentioned earlier. This was only uh, just a few bucks and it included this case. So uh, I bought this for two reasons, because of the case and this Road Champs right here, which I figured those two would uh, be enough to make up for the cost of it. So uh, it's not the best condition, it's missing. Uh, the stop sign, a little scratched up, but it is the international variant. Uh, and yeah, we have three of these. I believe this one is in the best condition. Uh, you can see that the other two are missing most of their tires. This one is missing all of it. Um, and then this other one, I think, has the front two tires, I believe. Yeah, but you can see that it's really bent in right there. So, uh, you know... 
yeah there is one of these two of these the black graphics bus i like this version better than the red one that i showed off earlier here is a nickelodeon city bus and yet another one both of those were made by matchbox there's also a few random parts in here this is the interior of a bus so i'm not exactly sure which one that goes to uh but there's also the bottoms to a couple of them in here uh and a couple random screws so i'm not sure what those go to but uh you know with a collection of my size it might be nice to have them just in case coming down to the last couple things this is a little school bus keychain i picked this up uh, from the same person who was selling that crown super coach that i showed at the beginning my uncle gave me two of these little uh containers that now sit in my nightstand and hold my tv remotes and just you know stuff like that so the last model that i got is this one i probably could have done without it but here it is anyways uh it kind of looks like a mix between a second and third gen ce to me almost i'd never seen this before uh i found it in target and like i said i probably could have done without it but i uh, decided i'd get it anyways just because i was uh getting a few others but yeah and last but not least i'm not going to show these off on video because i did a separate video unboxing these and that will come at a later point but this is a lot of um school transportation news and school bus fleet magazines there's a lot of them in here uh that's everything that's in here there's a couple older issues most of them are uh within the past uh say 10 years and don't have digital editions so i picked these up there's a lot of good stuff in there and like i said uh there will be a video showing these off in the future and there you have it that is everything that i got in july 2022 hopefully you found this interesting if you would like to see this become a regular thing let me know and we'll see what happens anyways that is going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i always do appreciate it make sure you subscribe right down here it's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to safety liner c2 make sure you comment up here down here over here or over here i don't know what they put down and care where they put it make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or all the models are just gonna randomly disappear and make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't let anything happen to you. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video, and thanks for watching.